so infrequently that it is still unknown to people outside of the country itself. Um, it was someone named Narcio Garay who first called the, to the attention of Elizabeth Waldo to it, and she, in turn, um, interested, she invested, asked the American composer, um, employee Grant Still, to develop it for concert use. So now, Mr. Still has written on Panamanian dance themes, um, collected by Ms. Waldo, a work which is adaptable for string quartet or string orchestra, so you might hear both online if you look it up when you get home. Um, nothing like it has ever been done before in string literature, and Mr. Still has further departed from traditional, traditional practices by making an attempt to approximate the sounds of native instruments. So you may hear some interesting sounds there. Um, their four movements were only playing the last one, the cumbia and congo. It's the most sensuous of all the dances, and can, is pretty much lacking in all European elements. Um, when it's danced in the streets, the women hold lighted candles in their upraised hands, while the men dance about them in an unabandoned, or sorry, an abandoned manner. Um, a more refined cumbia is adopted for other occasions. So, a uh, spicy and uh, fiery piece for you to end off.